Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you just found me, my name is Ashley. I am the owner of The Keto Saga. I have my YouTube and my Instagram are both the same name, The Keto Saga. You can find me there. And then I also have a ketogenic um, diet beginners group on Facebook if you guys want to join in there as well if you're just starting your weight loss journey and you need some guidance doing the ketogenic diet. Um, that's pretty much what my channel is about. I am going through my own personal weight loss journey and I wanted to really make my channel about my own experience but I also love finding other people out there who are doing their own weight loss journey and supporting them and encouraging them to keep going. I think there is um, a lot of people out there who are on the same type of journey as I am and so really connecting to them and connecting with them and, and talking to them about their journey is really important to me. So I started this channel and I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a background because I have officially lost, I should say re-lost 50 pounds and I wanted to kind of go over how I did that. It's been a much requested video. So a little bit of the background, um, I started out it started in, I should say, like, I don't know, April or May of 2017. I had found Joe Cross, who does uh, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And it's about a guy who goes across across the country and on a juice fast. And he loses a bunch of weight. And he reaches people and does seminars and everything. So it all sounded, you know, really good and I got myself a juicer and all kinds of fruit and I was living on just fruit juice and, and vegetable juice, juiced everything. And it was working pretty well. And then, let's see, in around the same time we had a family come live with us who at the time we thought didn't have anywhere else to go. Their, the, the guy's family was treating him really bad and what this whole entire spiel and we felt bad and we took them in and we gave them a place to stay rent free they didn't have to pay for anything um, the only thing they got was their own food we bought them you know all kinds of different stuff and we really supported them and trying to get them on their feet we even helped them with jobs and different things like that so um, about I'd really say about about the same time I went to the doctor and I had told the doctor what I was doing. He was kind of concerned because of the lack of protein, um, but I assured him, you know, it was it was all good and I was going to have tons of veggies and take protein powder and all kinds of stuff. He was very skeptical, so he gave me three months to lose weight, and if it didn't work, then he would actually intervene. And lo and behold, um, <laughs> come June, I was supposed to have lost weight. I lost about 20 pounds on the juice fasting, um, but there was no real progress. So July 2017, I found the ketogenic diet. Now, I don't remember exactly how I found it. I know I found one of Leanne Vogel's um, videos. I don't know how, but I did, and I was hooked from the very beginning. I was absolutely hooked. I found a keto... A motivation group which I joined and I threw myself into research I learned everything I could about the diet I learned the ins and outs the do's the don'ts the what you can eat what you can't how you make your macros how you calculate them the tracking apps everything I threw myself I had I think at one point six different notebooks full of research so um and that, that's just my way I love doing research I love figuring out how things actually work so I was so involved in that group that I actually became a moderator. And um, it's something that I really, really love doing. And I loved working with people and helping them on their ketogenic journey. And at the same time, I was using it as my own personal weight loss because I hadn't lost that much weight uh, in the beginning. But um, within five months, I had actually lost 50 pounds. And that was no exercise, that was just eating strictly keto, surrounding myself with everything that I could keto. And unfortunately, that didn't last because I had a series of unfortunate events, I guess you could call it. Um, the people that we 
took in, ended up stabbing us in the back and disappearing and all kinds of different things. In October, the end of October, my dad with a bunch of health problems moved into our house and um, that ended up not working out. Also in November, I ended up losing one of my best friends. And then back in August, so July started it, in August we also last, lost our landlord. I had all kinds of stress from work. I was being treated horribly by the teacher that I was working with. I work in special needs. So every day was a struggle. And so long story short, I ended up completely binging on Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, and then trying to go, you know, once I regained the weight that I had lost, I tried to get back on the keto. I really, really did. And I did really good during the week, but on the weekends, because of the high stress level of my job, it was always cookies and um, chips and sub sandwiches and pizzas, microwavable pizzas, bagels, um, you know, ice cream, things like that, and really like high comfort foods. So um, I tried really, really hard from, I would say, let's see, up until January of this year, I tried really hard to get back and I just, I couldn't do it. Uh, I had also already began my business, the Keto Saga, which I have my website, I have a couple of products, different things like that. I offer beginner's guides. But then I started thinking, you know, how could I coach my clients and provide this information to people and really be motivating and uplifting if I couldn't even do it myself? So come January, I began to, um, I began a 30 day keto challenge, not only for the keto motivation group, but also for my keto saga begins group, my beginners group, and then for myself as well. So it was a really good way for me to get on track because I knew I couldn't let you guys down. The 30 day keto challenge um, quickly became a 365 day journey. And the reason is I, I do really well with challenges. And so it became all about, I have to do this. I cannot motivate people and get them to learn all about the keto the ketogenic diet if I can't even stick to it myself. And so it became this big, huge challenge for me to personally stay on keto, strict keto for 365 days of the year. Now, mind you, throughout this entire time that I've been on the ketogenic diet, so um, a, over a year and a half, I have done everything the way that it's supposed to be done. So I've done the strict, I've done the counting, I've done the tracking, I have done the cooking, I have done the recipes. I've also done the intermittent fasting. Now intermittent fasting, you can start out at um, 816, which is eight hour eating window followed by a 16 hour fast. And I continue to build on that until I was literally eating one time a day for like a half an hour and then fasting the rest of the time. That's where I got to. So my next step was 72 hour autophagy fasts, which um, I did really well when I was on the autophagy fast. I would be able to have like bone broth and coffee and sparkling water, carbonated water, that type of thing. And, um, and it was pretty easy. We even went to Disneyland. I stayed completely keto, not a problem there. And I just, I guess I got to a point where I wasn't seeing as much of the weight loss as I wanted to. And so I kind of felt like I was doing everything right. Um, and I had initially lost, re-lost uh, 30 pounds. And so I found um, Chris James, who is the owner and operator of um, A Healthy Alternative. He does a lot of water fasting videos and information on that. And so I looked into it and actually I should say before that I had found um, a girl on YouTube who had been doing a five day dry fast, which I thought was completely crazy. But then I started me in my research mode um, 
and I started looking it up and, and started, then I found Chris and I started um, joining the Facebook group and I started my very first five day water fast on February 25th. So I have since done the five day water fast followed by a two day keto OMAD, five day water fast, two day keto OMAD, and now I'm now into my third week of water fasting. I have lost the last 20 pounds of the initial 50, and I finally, on March 10th, I reached my 50 pound weight loss goal that I had way before. So, um, a lot of people have asked me kind of what I do, and a lot of people are like, well, I need a step-by-step -step guide, and honestly, you guys, it's not something that can be, I could tell you until I'm blue in the face, I could tell you exactly what I ate, I told, I could tell you, you know, exactly what I tracked, everything I did during the day, how much water I drank, but it's really, it comes down to what you want to do, and what your determination is, because without determination, it's not going to work. And I am, I, I, I honestly use Disneyland as my motivation. This last time that we went to Disneyland, I was able to go on all the rides. I was able to fit through the turnstiles without turning sideways, which was a major, major breakthrough for me. And I had a lot of anxiety. I really did. But the fact that I could go on the rides, the fact that the seatbelts fit, the fact that, you know, I didn't have to go off of keto to enjoy myself. It was all such great motivation. So I was able to stay keto and um, it just powered me up even more and I absolutely love it. So right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to continue the five day water fast and the two days OMAD for as long as I need to because I am having success with it. I am, I have super, super energy. I have done a couple of videos on the benefits of it. I am a newbie, so you know I'm I'm documenting my progress as well as any experiences that I have with it so that other people can benefit from that. I love coming at it from a place of I want you guys to know that this is what I'm going through so you can, you know, be aware of it, that it is a possibility. I also like to come at things like um, to teach you you know, different things that are researched or why something does something in your body or why, you know, why that's not going to work or I love working with you guys one on one. So, oh, I should say too, a lot of people were asking this too. When I did my very first water fast, I ended up losing 7.8 pounds and four and a half inches. This last time that I did my weigh in, you guys can check out my, um, my video. It, I, I went down like five inches. And I'm planning for, it seems to be working out about five, five, between five and seven pounds every week. So I'm quickly on my way to my goal. Um, it's not a starvation diet at all. I used to think like that because um, I have battled three different eating disorders. And um, I see... I, I really see it as more of a survival mode rather than a starvation mode because starvation is when your body doesn't have anything. When you're in survival mode, your body is utilizing what you do have, which is your stored body fat, pretty much, um, in order to sustain you. And it works and you feel fine and um, people are seeing amazing different things being cured and um, lower blood pressure and um, just all kinds of benefits. So if you guys are interested in water fasting, that's totally doable. I do suggest coming from a ketogenic way of living just because it's really important for you to have that relationship with food. I had to literally go through every different diet in order to find the ketogenic diet. That's the only one that has ever worked for me the way that it does and allowed me to really connect with what I'm eating and understand what I'm eating and what it's doing for my body. And so I really think it's really important for you to have that relationship with food that's actually comes from a good place and you can get the healthy fats in, you can eat your green veggies and you can know what to do because when you come off of fast, it's it's equally as important as the fast itself. You have to be able to do it correctly if you want to continue losing. And so I talk about that in some of my other videos too. So 
Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that answered some questions about how I lost and then gained and then re-lost 50 pounds. Um, it is completely doable. And so if you guys are on a weight loss journey and you want to know more information or for me to kind of break it down a little bit more, um, hit me up. Go ahead and comment down below. Um, you can also join my Facebook group. It's the Keto Saga Begins. That is for the ketogenic diet. I would love to connect with you there as well. If you have your own personal weight loss journey, please post it in the comments below so that I can check out your story as well and we can really support each other. So uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you wanna get more um, notifications that I've uploaded a video, that would be great. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.